Welcome to the SN Grep Quick Start Guide, presented by Vox Telesis. In this video, we're going to use SN Grep to analyze the successful SIP call flow between two extensions on a PBX. In our example, there will be three devices. A SIP phone with the IP address of 10.86.98.102, with the assigned extension of 102, we'll refer to this device as phone 102. There will be another SIP phone with the IP address of 10.86.98.101, with the assigned extension of 101, we'll refer to this device as phone 101. And finally, there will be a PBX server that acts as an intermediary between our phones with the IP address of 10.86.98.100. We'll start off by first making a test call from extension 102 to extension 101. Let's go ahead and speak a few words into the receivers to ensure that audio is working properly. Finally, let's hang up phone 101. As you can see, SNGREP gives us an updated status of the call in the call status column. When the call is being set up and ringing, the call state will be in the call setup status. The call state changes to in call when the other party picks up the phone and begins the audio conversation. When one of the users hangs up their phone, the call state is then changed to completed. Notice how two SIP invite conversations appear in the flow viewer. Each invite conversation represents a leg of our communication between an individual SIP phone and the PBX. Let's use SNGREP to examine both legs of this conversation. The conversation starts when SIP phone 102 sends the invite packet. The PBX sends back a 401 unauthorized packet. Phone 102 sends back an ACK packet. This packet informs the PBX that it has received the error packet. Phone 102 then sends another invite packet. The reason why the invite packet was sent twice was because the initial invite packet did not contain the extension's credentials. The PBX will always decline the first invite. The phone then sends another invite packet with proper credentials. Once phone 102 provides an invite packet with proper credentials, the PBX then passes the invite to phone 101. When phone 101 receives the invite packet, it immediately sends back a 100 trying packet back to phone 102. The 100 trying packet lets phone 102 know that phone 101 is attempting to process the phone call. Phone 101 then sends the 180 ringing packet to let phone 102 know that extension 101 is ringing. When the user picks up the phone at extension 101, phone 101 then sends an SDP packet that initiates the audio conversation between both parties. Phone 102 then sends back an ACK packet acknowledging that they are going to start the audio portion of the call. The actual voice conversation between phones is handled by the RTP protocol, which is represented by these white arrows. We will dive deeper into the RTP protocol in upcoming videos. The buy packet is sent when phone 101 hangs up and ends the call. This notifies phone 102 that they are terminating the conversation. Phone 102 sends back a 200 OK packet, letting phone 101 know that they have terminated the call as well. In this video, we examined a successful SIP call flow between two extensions on a PBX. In upcoming videos, we will examine unsuccessful SIP call flows using SNGREP. If you have any further questions, please check out support.voxtelesis.com.